happy Sunday. Well, this is your style appetizer for the week. So as usual, I've been thinking a lot. And as you know, <laughs> from things I've said before, my head is in not a very good neighborhood to go into by myself. So I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I've been um, contemplating in my world with you because they also concern you. They concern, or, or my concern is for all of us. How about that? So we've spent three years, maybe some of us are still in the same process of not connecting with people, not being in the same space, not being in the same room, not breathing the same air, which in my worldview and life view and intimacy view is a not great place. It's a place of darkness. It's um, a space of hunger and it's a space of not thriving, not growing. Why am I saying all this to you? Because I think that's what's happening is that a lot of people are feeling very comfortable in their own little bubble in their own little, oh, I don't have to deal with anybody. Oh, I don't have to be up against anything. Oh, I don't have to um, take out the trash, meaning talk about the things that are not working when we are in the same space and we're all connecting with one another, breathing the same air, being in the same room, sitting at the same dinner table, sleeping in the same bed, uh, waking up with um, a sink full of dishes, um, coming home to someone who doesn't want to give you a hug, coming home and, or, or, or being the one who receives someone coming home, whether it's your husband or your children or your wife or um, your in-laws <laughs> and they want to go like this and they don't want to touch you. They don't want to hug you. So all of that has been a, a very important conversation for me. And here's why. <laughs> I need to be with people and I need touch. I need touch and I need connection and I need intimacy into me, you see. Now, I may have done style appetizers about this before, but this is really the foundation of humanity. It is not just the foundation of our humanity as we interact with one another. It is the foundation, C, connection, is the vitamin C that we need. We need touch. We need affection. We need tenderness. We need to be seen and heard and held and cared for. And we need to all, not just one person, we all are here to be there for one another. So what if someone doesn't want that? Like I know many, many people who don't have that gear. They don't have the, I want to come and just love on you and suffocate you. And, you know, Persians have it a lot. Um, one of my clients lives in Australia and her name is Nicole. And Nicole always says to me when I speak to her, she's coming to our next retreat. And when, when, <laughs> when I speak to her, she's like, I'm gonna, ah, She's so excited that she's going to come here and actually get to see us, me, all of us for the first time. I'm going to wrestle you to the ground. Yeah. So this wrestling someone to the ground because you care about them, because you love them, because you want to smell the, you know, the baby's neck or because you want to touch, reach out and touch somebody's hand, heart like I said in the other one, that reaching out and touching somebody's hand, which means you're actually touching their heart, is the most important piece. And I'm, you might get bored of me saying this or talking about it. The truth is, who's the last person you wrestle to the ground because you love them so much? Who's the last person you just couldn't take your hands off, whether it's your children, or your lover, or your grandma that you haven't seen in a long time. You know, my granddaughter has 
this beautiful practice. Both of them do, but they have it in different ways. My grandmother, my grandmother, which I didn't do with my grandmother, by the way, this is why this is coming up. My granddaughter comes over and she just hugs me. She envelops me with all, and now she's tall, way taller than I am. She just envelops me like this beautiful puffy cloud. And then she melts into the crook of my neck and she melts her arms into my back. Priceless. My grandson does it a different way. He's like, he holds me and he doesn't let go. And he does it in his own way. Priceless. Love in action is priceless. Go be love in action today, tomorrow, every day. I don't know when I'm going to be here. I don't know if I'm going to be here tomorrow to give you a hug. So because this is all on video and because you're far away, I can just send you hugs like this and tell you how much I miss you all. Because I do. I miss my community. And I miss being with all of you in a room cooking and talking and laughing and crying together. As women have done for centuries. So I put my foot down and we're doing retreats again. I can't wait to see you. And if this is something that you want to experience with your friends, with your loved ones, with your sisters, your mothers. Make sure that you pass this on to somebody you love. And make sure you tell people about this work because it's about clothes, but it's not about clothes. Right? Give the Virtual Style Academy to someone you love. Give them a retreat. Give them time. Give them your time. Give them your love. Bring them with you to something so they can experience life <laughs> together with you. I love you all. Have a beautiful Sunday. Go in your closet and play. Yes, and cry. Tears are good. Tears are a woman's prerogative to use whenever she wants. And tell me which corner of the universe you're lighting up today. And I love you. Mwah. Yes, Virtual Style Academy. Go learn. Even if you don't want to come in life because you're afraid I'm going to wrestle you to the ground. Go learn something for yourself. It's not that hard. It's not that complicated. It's a system and you can learn it. Mwah. <laughs>